it's time for business news with Richard Southern. And Richard, the owners of one particular Toronto restaurant must be beaming with pride today. Yeah, good luck getting a, a reservation here. Eric and I were so excited by this Michelin guide handing out stars because we're millennials, right, uh, Erica? We like to spend what, what little money we have on food we can't afford. Foodies. That's what millennials sure. do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're eager to maybe spend our hard-earned dollars at this place. So is a lot of uh, Toronto. Uh, the Michelin Guide awarded two stars to only one Toronto restaurant. It is this Sushi Masaki Sato on Avenue Road. It is a sushi restaurant, a very high-end one. It features fish flowing in daily from Japan. And it's served omakase style, which means you don't order off a menu. You get what the chefs uh, give you, whatever's fresh for the day. Uh, one meal will cost you $680 each, and that's before you have anything to drink from the bar. Uh, a dozen other restaurants received one star, and there were a lot of notable mentions as well. Not missing a beat, Erica, DoorDash, the food delivery company, says starting today, they have a Michelin section on their app where you can actually order food, not from Sushi Maseki Soto, but from other restaurants that got an honorable mention last night. So. Uh, as we say, good luck getting a, a reservation at this Avenue Road eatery. It's not going to be uh, easy to come by, I don't yeah. think, is it, Eric? And they wouldn't be available on DoorDash. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it's a $680 DoorDash bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Richard, uh, you're down at Queen's Park today as pressure continues to mount on all levels of government to tackle the rising cost of living. Everything costing more. What's the government going to do to help is the question. We heard from the federal government on this front yesterday. The prime minister yesterday afternoon announced a three-point plan to help tackle inflation, he said, uh, including a boost to the GST tax credit, a dental benefit plan, and a top-up to the Canada housing benefit. Do you qualify? I asked Jamie Golomek with CIBC. The first one is the doubling of the GST credit. So there's a quarterly credit that low and middle income Canadians get. Uh, they get it uh, four times a year. Uh, that's helped to offset the costs of the GST that they pay on goods and services. In addition to that, there's going to be uh, the Canada Dental Benefit. Uh, the benefits will be up to $650 per child. There's also the Canada Housing Benefit. If you're making 35 grand or less a year and spending 30% of your income on your rent, you can qualify for some money there. I asked the Provincial Finance Minister here at Queen's Park today if we can expect any inflation relief from Queen's Park. He was uh, non-committal on that, Erica. Okay, finally, most of us have heard of the term quiet quitting by now, but perhaps it should be replaced with another phrase, side hustle. Right, side hustle, this is big right now. Of course, quiet quitting is doing like the bare minimum at work, which a lot of people apparently are doing now. But many others, uh, they're taking on like one or two jobs and doing it alongside their primary job. Uh, some contend they're working like 12 to 14 hour days doing this. Others say they can do it in less than 40 hours a week. Uh, experts say it's a growing trend, particularly in the technology industry. The advent of working from home has really proliferated the option to take on more jobs at the same time. Employment lawyers, though, say be careful. Many employers discourage this sort of action in your employment agreement. Erica, hmm. back to you. Okay, thanks, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern.